guys and welcome to my channel again this is JC here from JC Custom Fabrication in my previous video we did the solenoid setup I'm gonna leave the link right up here today's video part 2 I'm gonna be doing the remote system so let's get into the video okay so from the last video I just want to show you guys from where we finished off we connected our solenoids on both sides this for your front and this is for your rear so as you can see the solenoid is connected and today's video we're gonna be doing the wiring up of the solenoids into the remote system okay so to do the remote system this is what we're gonna need I got myself a four channel receiver wireless receiver from Amazon and this is how it looks I'm just gonna open it up now so it comes with a menu as you can see there's a menu it comes with two remotes there's remote one and there's remote two and the receiver itself so I'm gonna open up the receiver and then I can just show you how the receiver looks like inside Okay, so this is how the receiver looks uh, the receiver comes with a small antenna your four relays and your connection there for whatever you're gonna connect it to as for me I'm connecting this to the solenoids and seeing that my um, solenoids here is 24 volts and I'm working with a 12 volt system I got myself this uh, booster mode from NetRAM Technologies. This will boost my uh, power from 12 watt to 24 watts into my solenoid. So I got myself four of this for each solenoid. I'm using one of this. You can use uh, one per solenoid, but I prefer uh, each solenoid with one. So the power don't drop. So I got four of this. Boost the most. This is how this looks. So for each solenoid, I'll be connecting one of this to boost the 24 volts from 12 volt to 24. Okay, now we're gonna start with the connection of the solenoids. into the remote system and see how this goes um, doing this for the first time okay this is how I'm gonna line up this I'm gonna have this two here my receiver in the center and my two booster modes here on the other side also just everything in line I'm gonna be connecting my solenoids into the receiver this is how the menu looks so I'm just gonna have to follow how exactly the steps on connecting this because I've never used this before so I'm gonna try and follow the instructions so if you guys find this uh, connection um, connecting of the solenoids into the receiver complicated then you're gonna have to stick to the instructions here they will direct you exactly on what to do So as you can see on the instruction, I'm gonna bring this right close. So that is the positive. So I'm gonna try and wire the positive into the into the relays. So I'm gonna get a piece of wire and just wire it into each and every relay. <music>
guys as you can see on the instruction I powered up all four relays as you can see that wire there from the positive goes into the first relay the second relay the third relay and the fourth relay that's exactly what I did here so you can see that there now I'm gonna do the powering of the solenoids into the relays that's gonna be the next step so I'm gonna do that now Connecting the positive side, the solenoids is all connected on the positive side. Now we're gonna do the negative side. Okay, guys, the setup is complete now. So I'm just gonna go through and show you exactly how I connected this. So I have this power boost because my solenoids is now 24 watts so that's why it's a little bit complicated but without the solenoid boosters it's just a straightforward thing you will see on the menu okay but I did the connection everything so I'm gonna show you now exactly how this works with the remotes okay I'm just gonna connect this up I've got my power supply here which is 12 volt that I'm gonna connect up here positive and the negative and as soon as you connect that your receiver has got the blue light there to show that it's on you can see that blue light there it will show you it's on and now we're gonna take it we're gonna do a test now my solenoids has got lights in so you don't know if you can see that over there but there's a light in now as soon as I press the button you'll be able to see that light from there on all four solenoids so to see if there is power going through the solenoids and the remote system is working we're gonna test it now now I did my connection up a and the B, the A is to lift up, so if I press A, then the, the car will lift up, if I press B, then the car will go down, if I press C, the car will lift up, and if I press D, the car will go down, so we're going to test the remote system now, as you can see on my, on my uh, power modes, there is also red lights there to see if the solenoids is getting power so you'll be able to see the red light if I press the button then it means there is power going to the solenoid I'm gonna do that now so this is the A and B setup and that's the C and D setup so we're gonna try the A and B now as you can see there's a power light coming on the red light in the solenoid light is coming on as soon as I leave the button then everything goes off so it means the east power going to the solenoid it's opening and closing we're gonna try that again and that's the A this is the supply so if I press the, the A button so this supply is power to the solenoid and it goes and lifts up the car if I press B and the, the solenoid opens up, the power comes to the solenoid and the car drops down. Okay, so that's the A and the B. And we're gonna try the C and D on this side also. Same setup. There is a C going on, power coming into the solenoid, the car lifts up. If I press the D, the power coming into the solenoid and it drops down. So that's your remote system, the remotes, you can have two remotes, you have two remotes on one setup, you can use the first remote or second remote, all of them is paired to, to the system, so that's your A and B and C and D. 
Okay guys, the setup is done and I followed all the instructions that came with the receiver. You, you might have to follow the instructions if you're not sure of how to connect this. So I followed the instructions, I was a little bit clued up with how the setup works and you guys can also follow this and you won't go wrong with the instructions. That is it for part 2, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Watch out for the next video, goodbye.